Are you ready? Slide getting Tara for another security tip. And today we're going to be talking about deploying the RSA Secure ID Access Identity Router within vSphere 6.5. First things first, let's get access to your RSA Cloud Authentication Portal. We want to go to Platform Identity Routers, click on Download Identity Routers, download that OVA file, and then we're going to get right into it. So let's go right to it. I'm gonna I already have a resource pool created for everything that I need to do RSA. I'm gonna right click on here and I wanna say deploy from a OVF template. Hit local, and then you router right there. You're gonna click next. Let's change the name for it. All right, let's select the location. I'm gonna keep everything within my resource pool. So let's do that. All right, let's review the details. We're all set. Make sure to read through that. Read it carefully. I did already. So we're not gonna do that for right now. We don't know the difference between thick and thin. Let's do a quick research on it and you know the difference between the two. Make sure we get the networks. So what is the management network? That's for all your internal traffic. And what is your portal network? That's going to be for your external traffic. So you're going to see management and proxy. That means the same thing. Management, internal, proxy, external. All right, it's ready to complete. Let's wait for that to deploy. RSA identity router has been created. So let's go right now to RSA IDR YouTube demo. Let's power this bad boy on. First thing we need to do is grab those default credentials to get us in there. So the username is ID and enter. And now we're inside the initial configuration. So I'm gonna go right to the management port, one of my IP address. Key thing here, make sure you hit F10. So let's do the proxy information right now. Make sure I hit F10 again. All right, hit F10 and commit. And once this is saved, I will be able to go to my web interface to finish off the process and setting up this IDR. All right, so I'm here. So let's put in that initial password they provided us. It's gonna force me to change it. All right, it's gonna force me to log back in. All right, it's carried over some of my information. We gotta add in an identity host name. Again, I created this before with my DNS server. Here we go, let's update it. Once you complete this, you don't have to come back in here ever again unless you make some changes to your internal network, but it's a one and done type of thing. So the last thing we need to do is connect it and associate the cloud authentication server to your newly formed identity router. So we're gonna go back here, close this out, add my new identity router. Let's call, thank you for watching. Make sure you're in the right cluster, portal host name. You leave this all blank unless you need to do that internally. You don't have to do it for hour. This is for my demo lab, so I'm going to destroy this after. But if you need this in your environment, make sure you do this. But you don't have to. All right. So it provided me one here that I can use. Let's take this copy and paste it. So just, and then we're going to go right back here to registration code. And then we're going to go here to authentication service. Domain. All right. Hit submit. So look how easy it is. Sweet. It is active. It's green. So now this is where the fun begin. But I wanted to show you how this to deploy it out of the box. How quick. How painless it was. How easy to use your experience it was when deploying the IDR. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified.